Hello everyone, welcome back to the Illum Biology. Today we will have a very good discussion on an experiment called as Rep Lederberg's replica plating experiment. It was a very good experiment which proved us a new theory about how speciation occurs and how does adaptations lead to formation of new species. What is the basis of the adaptation? How did it prove this? I'll explain it with this simple experiment. Lederberg's replica plating experiment. First of all, what is the meaning of the name of the experiment? Lederberg was the scientist who did this experiment. Replica, replica is a word that means a Xerox or a copy. What is plating? Plating means growth of bacteria on a culture medium. That is called as plating, formation of a culture plate. So what Lederberg did, he first of all, uh, grew bacteria on a culture medium and then made a replica of that plate. That's why the experiment was named so. Joshua Lederberg and Esther Lederberg in 1952 carried out this simple experiment but the result was, was more important and proved us how speciation occurs. See first of all what they did, they grew bacteria on an agar plate. What is an agar? Agar is a medium. It is a medium for the growth of bacteria. So the bacteria were grown on an agar plate like this and when after the growth when a medium was provided the bacteria replicated and produced colonies. Now this was the first plate which was produced in this experiment. So this plate was called as a master plate. Now by using this master plate we are going to produce replicas of the same master plate plate. So this is our master plate and in the next step what we did we just took a wooden block. A wooden block was taken and on the top of that wooden block a sterile velvet plate was mounted. See this is a velvet plate. It is a velvet plate with agar. That is a medium for bacterial growth but remember this has to be sterile. Why sterile? So that no uh, bacteria are present on this. This might change our result. So a velvet plate was then mounted on a wooden block and this now plate was now gently pressed on a master plate. See consider this as the master plate. Now on this master plate this is a velvet plate. So this velvet plate with the wooden block was gently pressed, pressed on this master plate. When it was pressed, the bacteria present on the master plate adhered to the, to the velvet plate with agar. So new colonies were produced on, on this velvet plate with agar medium. Now we produced two different types of replicas. Now this uh, plate with agar, the velvet plate now is called as the replica of the master plate. So we produced two different replicas by pressing the velvet plate on the master plate. Now in one of the replica a penicillin antibiotic was present with agar in the agar medium and on the other uh, replica no penicillin was present. What is penicillin? Penicillin is an antibiotic that resists the growth of bacteria. It is an antibiotic. Now the plate without penicillin. When penicillin is not present, bacteria can easily grow over this medium. So all bacteria grew in this medium. But in the agar plate with penicillin, because the penicillin is present, so it won't allow those bacteria to grow which, has, which are sensitive to penicillin. Only those bacteria can show a growth which are resistant to penicillin. So penicillin resistant bacteria could easily grow but the bacteria which were sensitive to penicillin could not easily grow on this plate. Now this was the experiment that was done. Now what the question is, how did the bacteria get an adaptation to that penicillin? This was the main question that arose after this experiment. How could the bacteria adapt to this to survive in that medium with the penicillin? Now one thought that might come in our mind is that those bacteria that survived in the penicillin medium must have developed a mutation, must have developed a mutation after they were exposed to the penicillin and then they could easily 
uh, show resistance against that antibiotic. But is this possible? Is this possible that whenever you uh, provide any adverse uh, environment to any species, then after exposure to that environment, that species produces a mutation and that mutation helps that species to grow. This is not possible. Why is this not possible? Because we know that mutations are never directional. You cannot produce those mutations instantly, which can help you to, uh, to cope up with that adverse environment. Mutations are never directional. They are always random that clearly means that this is not possible you cannot develop mutations after exposure to a particular environment so what must have happened see this master plate contain already contain some bacteria that had mutant genes the master plate which was produced on the very first instance that already had some bacteria with a mutation with a mutation and this mutation helped them to resist the action of penicillin and produce colonies. But now because genes were already present, the mutant genes were already present in some bacteria, you consider it like this, this is the master plate and in this master plate there are two types of bacteria, one with the resistance against penicillin and the one with without any resistance against penicillin but in this master plate there was no penicillin so these bacteria with a resistance against penicillin this mutation was a neutral mutation what are neutral mutations neutral mutations are those mutations that are not expressed that are not expressed they are neither beneficial nor they are harmful they do not give any advantage or any disadvantage to that particular organism are called as neutral mutations. But, but when these bacteria were exposed to the environment, to the medium with penicillin, then those mutations that were initially neutral and were not offering any advantage, they become advantageous. They become advantageous. Now, did the new environment produce those mutations? No. It, it is not possible. Those mutations were pre-existing. They were there but were not giving any advantage to that bacteria, to those bacteria. Getting my point? Now, listen to this. What this experiment proved? This experiment proved that the basis of adaptation, the main basis of adaptation for any organism was a pre-existing gene mutation those mutations are already present they are already present but they are they become advantageous when when uh, the bacteria or the organism is exposed to that particular environment and now when the environment with that condition when it is produced those mutations become advantageous and now natural selection those mutations will now help them to adapt to that environment and now natural selection would act on that population with that adaptation getting my point such mutations are called as pre-adaptive mutations these mutations are called as pre-adaptive mutations that because those mutations are already present even before adaptation and now are helping those bacteria or those organisms to adapt to that new environment and they express these pre-adaptive mutations when they express they express only when only after exposure to that new environment and now these pre-existing mutations pre-adaptive adaptive mutations will help organisms to adapt to the new environment Getting my point, some bacteria already had that mutation but those mutations were not expressing because we were not giving the uh, related environment. But when uh, penicillin was provided, those mutations helped them to adapt and the bacteria without those pre-adaptive mutations could not just adapt to that environment. See if we uh, follow this point, if we follow this point then by this mechanism or by this logic all bacteria must have survived, all bacteria must have produced uh, action against penicillin but it never happened. Only some bacteria with those pre-existing mutation could only survive. So 
The final point is, the summary is that the new environment does not induce pre-adaptive mutations but selects those organisms with those mutations and they, those mutations occurred earlier. So better adaptation to a new environment which is then coupled with natural selection that leads to speciation. See what happened, some bacteria, some bacteria had some pre-existing mutations which were neutral but when exposed to a new environment but when exposed to a new environment those mutations what they did they helped them to adapt to the new environment and then nature selected those bacteria with adaptations and that lead to formation of a new species of bacteria which are resistant to against penicillin and the formation of new species is called as species. So that was Lederberg's replica plating experiment and that helped us to know the basis of adaptation. I hope you got my point and understood it. Thanks a lot for watching us. Thanks for connecting with us.